Oh, oh. What happened there? Hi right, folks, so my ride has finally arrived. It's the uh, Xiaopeng P7. And uh, as you see, it's gray like the, uh, the skies in Changzhou. This is the last leg of a 3,000 kilometer week long drive from uh, Guangzhou in uh, southern China near Hong Kong. And we're right around here right now between Beijing and Qinan. A lot of car companies right now are selling you know, EV cars. China is the world's biggest car market. There were 25 million cars sold last year in China, and 1.3 million of those cars were EVs. But the, uh, the game changer, of course, is the autonomous function. And that's one of the reasons why Tesla, which was you know, the first company to come out with their autonomous driving functions, was the best-selling car last year in China. So Xiaopeng and Neo are not all rolling out their own autonomous functions, hoping to get ahead of the game. The most interesting thing about this car, of course, is the uh, NGP function, the autonomous driving function. So I'm gonna get in right now and check it out. Uh, basically, it relies on two kinds of technologies, camera and torque. A camera is just looking at your eye line, and torque is basically you have to keep your hands on the wheel at all times. And if, if you fall asleep, so the seatbelt will start moving to wake you up. I need to uh, check out this uh, safety video in order to unlock the NGP function. Okay, now we have to take the test, right? How do you turn it on? Alright, let's go right. Did you actually watch the video? Alright. Yeah. Congratulations. victory is mine. Okay, that's great. So our driver, uh, Mr. Chu here, is drinking coffee, relaxing, chilling out. And as you can see, NGP is taking over. Um, it's going about 119 kilometers an hour, which is the, I mean, 120 is the maximum speed. All right, we're gonna overtake these, uh, these slow folks right now. See, he's not doing anything. What happened there? We nearly got into an accident. It really had nothing to do with us. It was a car in the middle of the lane wanting to come into our lane and uh, the driver had to like take over. It's more safer to have the, uh, the torque mm -hmm. just because your hands are always on the, uh, the steering wheel. Uh, we're about to exit the highway, which means the uh, NGP function of this car will be turned off. There was another, another incident when the car took us uh, out, out of the highway into a service area. We didn't um, program that in. So that was quite a surprise. But by and large, uh, you know, it was a pretty, pretty smooth ride. This is the, uh, the end of my journey. I'm basically back in uh, Beijing. The larger question is, what is the future of driving? And I was talking to a lot of experts, and they were just telling me how they expect by maybe 2030, half of all cars in China uh, will, be, uh, will be EV cars with autonomous functions. Thank you.